I'm now going to look at the new split holes feature. This feature comes in very useful when we have holes on an inclined freeform surface where it can be quite difficult to start the drilling without tool deflection. In this instance we'd like to helically mill the top of the hole until we reach a flat surface. From that flat surface we can use a standard drilling procedure. So let's select the holes as normal and what I'm going to do is right click on feature sets and recognize holes in model. So I have the two holes now typically I would want to mill over these holes so I'm going to select the surrounding surfaces and the holes it is very important to select the surrounding surfaces also otherwise when we cap the holes we will simply get a flat plane by also selecting the surrounding surfaces we will get a tangential hole fill so I right click on the feature set and select cap holes so Powermill is now creating me two tangential caps and if I select this one select this one you can see that I could very easily mill over the top of those but I also need to drill them so if I just take the model off the screen for a moment select the two holes right click and you split at surface this will divide each hole at the point at the lowest point of intersection. Put the model back on the screen. And now what I will do is I will open up my drilling method. If we take a look at the drilling method, I've got three drilling routines. First of all, I will helically mill each hole but only on the first component. After that, I've got a center drill on the second component. And then I've got a single peck drilling cycle to drill out the remainder of the second component. So if I just simply apply this, here you can see the hel helical holes milled at the top and close these forms. And just so that you can see exactly what's occurred, I'm going to activate the helical toolpath, switch off the part and the block, close that, and I will simulate from the start. And pushing down the control and shift keys and the right arrow key, we can very quickly animate that toolpath. Activating the second toolpath. Here is a centre drill, simulate from the start and using the right mouse key. Similarly for the last toolpath, just use the right mouse key to animate and the holes are completed.